Hello guys and welcome back to another G.I. Joe review. Today I want to show you another figure from the Foreign Soldiers Collection. Um, this is the World War II German Panzer Tank Sergeant Major. This guy is very nice and very unique. So let's get started. Here is the box. Pretty nice looking box. Very different from the other uh, G.I. Joe boxes. We got a picture of the German Sergeant Major there. On the top we have equipment list, comes with some nice stuff, and on the back we have description, um, got an image of the figure there, and of course the Japanese Army Air Force officer which I have reviewed already, and this figure was released in 2000. Okay, now let's get on with the figure. So here he is. A lot of his gear. Okay. Looks very nice. At least I think so. And I'll go ahead and take out his pistol, which is his only really weapon. Or, I shouldn't say weapon, his only gun. Because he does have some frag grenades there. And I'll attempt to put this in his hands. It's kind of a pain to get this stick in his hands. That's the best I can do. So there he is with his pistol. Alright. And I guess I'll go ahead and show that first. This is a very sweet looking German pistol. Um, I feel like I should know the name of that. Let me just check. Um, PO8 pistol with holster. So that's what it is. And uh, it looks very nice. I like how they painted it. It looks like it's actually metal. That's very nice. And the clip can come out. We have a nice thick clip there with a painted bullet. That's very nice, of course. Always nice to see that detail. Um, overall, I really like the pistol. Um, very, very nice. Nice to have that in my collection. Okay. There's a close-up of the figure's face. With his, um, his hat on. That looks really good. I love this figure with the hat on. Just looks great. Especially with the goggles on top there. Let me take the goggles off and just show you what it looks like without the goggles. That looks good as well. And I guess you can put the goggles down over his face, but that just doesn't fit very well. Eh, it's alright. It doesn't look too good either. I personally like it when the goggles are on top of the hat. Like this. I think that looks good. So there's a nice close-up version of the goggles. And of course the hat. Really like this hat. Got some nice details on there. And it fits very well on his head, I will say. That it fits very nicely on his head. And it looks very nice. So I was happy about that. And here's the figure's face up close. This is a one-of-a-kind face sculpt for this particular uh, G.I. Joe. And uh, he looks good. He looks very um, German, if you ask me. So that's cool. Um, almost looks kind of sad in a way. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool. Very nice. Alright. Around his neck, we have some nice binoculars here. Okay. And let's take a look what's on his belt here. Of course, we have a black pistol holster. And uh, the pistol fits pretty nicely in here. It's a, the holster's a little big, but it fits better than the Japanese officer's pistol did. So there is that. Take a look at these three frag grenades this guy comes with. These stick grenades. These are really, really cool. I really like these. Very happy to have these in my collection. Just very nice. I don't have anything like that. So, uh, yeah. Very nice. And they fit very nicely in the figure's hands. So there he is. 
of course they they have a, a sticker wrapped around with some words that are in German so that's very cool okay we also have this pouch here which does not open um, I guess he just puts some ammo in there maybe or papers stuff like that and also he has this really nice uh, canteen here German canteen that looks really cool I really like that in fact let me take off his belt so I can take that off well maybe not take it off it's kind of a pain to get past that velcro but here's just a close-up uh, shot of it this can be taken off and there's the canteen very very nice I like that a lot okay so there's his belt uh, just got kind of a plastic buckle here not a big fan of that doesn't look too realistic but uh, whatever it's alright just a minor thing there and here's his figure uh, sorry here is his outfit here's the figure's outfit pretty cool looking outfit looks nice um, I really like the buttons on the side there that's very cool as well as we have some little uh, medals here just uh, some stickers of course that's a German medal there and as well we have some designs on here around his collar and on these parts of his jacket as well as these coming around his sleeves these uh, kind of stripes those are cool and if you open this up this is I like this design a lot just the having the side buttons there it's very cool I really like that underneath we have a foreign soldiers custom dog tag that's pretty nice okay and uh, his pants are pretty nice as well in fact let's get a better look at those he's got these nice side pockets there of course they aren't really pockets they're just little flaps there's actually no pocket there but still looks nice uh, yeah cool looking pants there and uh, these boots are also very nice really like them they got this kind of mud effect paint going on that that's nice really like that okay guys so that's pretty much it that is the German Panzer tank sergeant major uh, very nice figure um, one thing I already mentioned this with the Japanese officer, but if you didn't watch the video, then uh, I guess I should point out his hands there. They're very different from uh, the normal articulated fingers that the G.I. Joe, at least the newer G.I. Joe figures come with. Um, not a huge fan, as I've already stated before, um, just because they don't hold weapons very well, and that kind of irks me. But oh well, nothing I can do about that. Overall, nice figure. Uh, he's very, very cool and I definitely recommend him so um, he's I'd say he's a little rare to find than the Japanese officer is um, it usually can be kind of pricey um, but yeah check him out if you're interested uh, thanks for watching the video guys and uh, stay tuned for more to come